Alright, so I uh, ended up getting a hotel last night. Uh, the only camping option, uh, it's kind of like a basically a parking lot, so with the rain I made the decision to get a, a hotel. Um, and actually it'll be all hotels uh, for the rest of the trip now. Uh, which will be nice. I mean, I like camping, but hotels are nice too place to store my bike uh, especially because I'm gonna be staying two days in Fort Collins check out some breweries so I'll have the hotel I'll have the hotel there uh, where I'm staying tonight uh, for two nights and I can keep the bike in there and it's uh, within walking distance all the stuff I want to check out so that'll be perfect uh, and then I think what I'll do so that'll put me Wednesday and Thursday and then I think Friday night, I'm going to go to Boulder uh, and stay there um, at another hotel that's by, uh, by some breweries. And then uh, that'll make it just like a 30 mile ride to uh, downtown Denver or Lodo as they call it um, uh, for my train on Saturday. That's not until 7 p.m. So I'll have all day to do it. I'm just... Uh, Making my way through uh, through Sydney, back onto 30. Um, well, I'll be going to Cheyenne, which is about 100 miles away, and then be heading south uh, to Fort Collins. I think it'll be the longest day of the trip. I think the longest so far has been 144 miles. So, anyway, just making my way through Sydney. So uh, this west on uh, Lincoln Highway, the shoulder is pretty much non-existent. Sometimes it shows up and it's like maybe a foot wide. Uh, but it really doesn't matter too much because the traffic is, is so low. So I mean, I-80 is you know 500 feet over that way. So I think most people are on that and it's there's not a lot of big towns. So just local people on 30 at this point. So, it's kind of chilly this morning. It's like, it's in the 60s. Put my rain jacket on because it was starting to sprinkle, but I'm not taking it off because it's, it's still chilly. Uh, anyway, I'm just trucking along, 30 miles down, 120 to go.
All right, just stopped in Kimball at the park here. Um, I saw it right off the highway and uh, just making some coffee. Like I said, it's a little chilly this morning. So it's making coffee. I'm not hungry, so I'm not gonna make anything to eat yet, but just doing that and uh, charging up over there. That's a nice little park. It's got a bathroom and electricity and water, everything that, everything that I need. So, um, I got Kimball, then Pine Bluffs, and then I think Cheyenne. So I'll probably, I don't know, we'll see. I probably won't have to charge until I hit Cheyenne and then uh, 50 miles from there to Fort Collins. The wind is supposed to change directions this afternoon and start coming from the north. So I'm going to be heading south. It'll be perfect. At least I hope. It never works out that way though. Okay, I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee, watch some YouTube, and charge up. All right, so as I uh, had said before, when the battery is like almost full, uh, when there's only about six amp hours left of charging, it starts to slow down. Um, normally it charges uh, about 15 amps, uh, which is pretty good. That's, uh, you know, one hour of that charging will get me an additional uh, 40 miles. But once it gets uh, to like, you know, 90% full, it starts to calibrate the battery so it slows down a lot and doesn't charge at the full 15 amps so right now because I've just been sitting here uh, letting it go because I was drinking my coffee uh, it's already down to three amp hours left in the battery and it's only charging at eight amps instead of 15 so if I can avoid it I uh, you know there's no reason for me to sit and wait and let it charge once it gets to the six uh, amp hours are 90% because it's not as efficient, but since I was just sitting here and letting it charge anyway regardless and finishing my coffee I just let it go of uh, Pine Bluffs out there in the distance um, that'll be uh, in Wyoming so I'll have uh, biked all the way across Nebraska I'm gonna keep going after that to uh, Cheyenne and then hit the third state today uh, going south into Colorado pretty rad and it is just wide open out here it's just awesome pretty close to I-80 now. Um, follow it all the way to Cheyenne. look good <clears throat> I'm in Cheyenne here and uh, definitely looks like a severe thunderstorm coming through and I have to stop and charge so I have another 50 miles to go and I won't I won't make it <laughs> if I don't charge so anyway I'm just gonna sit this out and see what happens
Well, the storm passed through Cheyenne. Uh, I just got a little sprinkles as I was riding south. I uh, hung out in a shelter for a while, charged the bike, and then started to ride and noticed it, uh, another wave was coming in. So I had to go get ice cream at Baskin Robbins. So I had to sit in Baskin Robbins and eat ice cream. That was my punishment. Uh, headed south now, and hopefully I can get between these storms that are coming through. Um, hopefully, I don't care if I get wet, but I want to avoid the lightning. Like 40 miles left to go, so. Fingers crossed. The sun's coming out. You probably can't see it, but those are the rocks. 